Good morning. We're here with George Cook of Far Bank, Sage Rio Reddington, to discuss uh, the new introduction of uh, European style nymphing rod, uh, a new introduction for 2011 fall 2012. Uh, this rod is aimed at uh, the European style nymphing, obviously. Uh, the rods are 10 plus feet long, uh, two through four weight. Uh, two through five. Two through five. And George, tell us a little bit about how this rod might differ from what we know as uh, the Sage 99, another series from Sage aimed at nymph fishing. Well, Chris, good morning. Good morning. Here we are at the Caddisfly, Hollywood of Oregon. The ESN, European Style Nymph series of rods, are a Czech nymph based fly delivery system. Um, Czech nymphing is very popular in Europe, extremely popular in Europe, uh, both as a fishing method and as a tournament-based um, enthusiastic uh, group of folks over there. Here in the United States, there's pockets of Czech nymphing enthusiasm, largely in the state of Colorado, to some degree here in central Oregon, um, over in uh, the Sun River Bend area, you've got, you've got a pocket of interest in that. These rods are specialized for that style of fishing, which is largely a point-blank affair, fishing anywhere from two to four flies, uh, long leaders, point-blank contact. And through the kinetic technology story with these rods from Sage, an angler has got a real advantage in fishing this method, whether he's here in the United States or in Europe. And a lot of the interest for this will certainly be in Europe. These rods differ from the 99s in that the 99 series, which was introduced a couple seasons ago, is really an indicator-based rod design based on the taper of a fast tip with a moderate action mid and butt section, which is fabulous setup in the form of the 99 rod, in particular with the uh, Rio indicator line to get all the junk in the trunk to turn over, indicator setup. Whereas this one is more of a contact nymphing uh, through the run, lead, lift, and back. This is more of a point blank range contact nymphing format. The other thing the ESN will have some real promise for here in the United States, specifically the western U.S., these will be great chronomid rods, lake fishing. And I don't mean chronomid fishing from the sense of an indicator type setup, which Again, a 99 series, particularly in a 4 or 5 weight, would be really spot on for that. But these ESN rods, in a classical chronomid fishing, old school, which is the way I do things uh, still as a guide in Washington State, is fishing a line such as a Rio Gold on one of these rods, probably one like the 2100, which is the smallest ESN, or a 3100, and fishing that in a floating line, 10, 12 foot liter, slow hand twist method, figure eight retrieve, old school chronomid fishing, uh, which is still my preferred favorite for that sort of thing, whether with a floating line or even at times a uh, intermediate, like say a camo lux from Rio. So the ESN is going to show up on two fronts. I think lake fishing here in the Pacific Northwest, as well as nymph fishing. And nymph fishing on rivers such as the Deschutes, steelhead opportunity, say with say the 5100 version of this, here on the uh, McKenzie, locally, the Rogue to the south, so on and so forth. But and these rods are new entry by Sage. This puts Sage in the Czech nymphing ball game, both domestically as well as in Europe. Now the kinetic technology, which is a big part of the the one rod technology that's being introduced right now as well. You know that really plays to the Czech nymphing style as I know it in terms of like you said feel. How does that stacked graphite transmit the feel through the rod? I know it does in casting because we've cast those Sage One rods, but with the contact fishing of uh, Czech nymphing, um, how does kinetic technology enhance feel? Well, it does several things which are angler centric to the style of fishing. One is just the mere contact, knowing what is going on below the surface as you're leading these multiple nymph set, setups through a given run, generally a close, close range. This technology will allow that angler to intuitively 
be in contact with what he's doing at that point blank range, detecting strikes, and knowing when that telephone call is coming through. Okay, um, this will assist guys in this methodology through this technology and the other part of it is is even when casting say if we switch from the point blank game of the check nymph style fishing to chronomet fishing uh, where casting becomes back on the platform which these tools will be very nice for again with something like a Rio Gold as a lake line choice that contact is going to be present whether it's in casting mode connected to the cast within the load point of the rod as well as the fishing contact. So it's kind of a dual purpose within the kinetic story. Great, thank you.